Hi, my name is Vanessa Alvarez, and we're on the show floor at Cloud Expo here in New York City. Thank you for joining us. I'm sitting here with John Derrick from Gelastic. I apologize. Uh, and tell us, John, how have you seen the show today in terms of the customers that are on the floor? And talk to us a little bit about what your customer is seeing in terms of the journey to the cloud and how, you, how you're taking your customers through that journey. Okay, sure. Um, so the show's been great so far. Lots of um, lots of traffic, a lot of activity in this cloud space. Um, our company, um, what we really focused on is uh, we're focused on getting people to that cloud sooner, easier, without having to code to new APIs or different standards. Um, so really take your applications, open source or others, uh, bring them over into the platform and get the full benefit of the cloud right away. Um, we're seeing our customers, uh, both in the public and the private um, cloud space, uh, for enterprises, ISPs, and, and service providers, uh, we're seeing them actually kind of step up an effort to move things in the cloud. Uh, I think the big debate today is not whether people are going to go into the cloud. Uh, it's really a debate of how much of their business goes into public cloud versus private cloud. Uh, I think it's a debate that's going to go on for a while, um, for sure. Um, for, for years, um, I've seen I've seen predictions that you know have you know most of the world staying in the in the private cloud, and I've seen other predictions that say most everyone's going to move in the public cloud. Um, we don't really mind either way. We provide software uh, for both for both scenarios, and we're seeing good growth. Fantastic. So it's interesting you say that there's a private versus public. You know, I think today in the next phase of cloud, we realize that hybrid is very important for a lot of enterprises. And, and the API is an issue in some instances. So how do you talk to your customers about the standardization of APIs or, or what they should be expecting from their cloud solution? Right. So uh, we've taken a really simple approach um, to the API problem, uh, which is uh, we actually don't force anyone to change their code, their applications, to run on our cloud so software. Um, and that's true whether in a public cloud or a private cloud. And so, you know, if you have an application or set of applications, you can move them over to a Gelastic service provider, an ISP that uses our software, or you can install that software in your own data center, and you'll have exactly the same experience. Um, you can even run it on top of Azure. You know, you can run it on top of Amazon, you can run it on top of VMware, or you can install it like most of our customers do on bare metal to get the absolute best cost, price, performance. Fantastic, and cost, price, performance is one of the things that was initially the value of cloud computing today, uh, in, in the past. Today, it's really much more about agility, about flexibility, still price versus performance is, is key, but a lot of enterprises are really looking for the, that flexibility and agility, do you agree? Um, I, I do. I think I think some of the emphasis on cost and agility actually has gotten lost um, in, in the journey. Um, the the benefit of having of utilizing open standards, things like Java applications, PHP, Ruby, um, and standard database formats, um, is that you can move around and you can shop for that best value. Um, but when we get companies that are providing cloud solutions or software solutions that force you into proprietary APIs, you actually get locked in even though you're using open standard stuff, right? And so that's a really key problem. And so we're selling to both private enterprise, sorry, pri private clouds for enterprise as well as for, for public hosted clouds. Um, and it looks exactly the same. And you don't have to change your application. So you know we're basically getting locked in with our customers, but we're not getting locked in by proprietary APIs or added libraries or things that you've got to code to. We're getting we're locking people in based on value, and that's really the promise of the cloud: to have portability, to move your your applications, your data to the most economic and most flexible place to be. So you mentioned that you work with service providers as well. Service providers have gone through a transition where they had no choice but to move towards cloud-like environments in order to be able to service their customers and remain competitive. How have you dealt with these service providers in terms of having them adjust to that thought process? 
So just like I was mentioning, um, cost effectiveness, efficiency, and agility, um, ease of management is also a really key value proposition. And so um, our, our package has actually been selling, our software has been selling for a couple of years. Um, and many of our customers have you know thousands of end, end customers because a lot of our public hosting providers, um, and each of them have just a few people actually supporting the product because it's proven, it's tested, there's no development required, um, it's ready to go, ready to run. And so being able to support a lot of different activities, innovation in, in, in the actual end application or use of applications, as opposed to investing back into IT support, development, everything else uh, to get something kind of that works. Uh, so really focus on value and delivery of value to the end customers. Great. Well, thank you for joining us. Can you tell our audience where to reach Jelastic? Um, www.jelastic.com. Okay, great. Thank you so much.